What's up, CoreyGFitness.com? We got Zach Matheny in the house what today. Up? What up? That's the graphic gangster. You all know him. Oh. And Small Arms Danny. Super fucking small. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Matheny, you're offering one-on-one to the community. I think it's going to be awesome to talk kind of your way through that process with clients. You've had some really good success where you're going to meets with guys that are like obviously super serious and want to compete. I've seen a couple of the really strong dudes that you've reposted to that are showing their deadlift. So it's like, maybe talk about where one-on-one comes in, sure. some of the success you've had, and then we have some questions for you too. Yeah, I think how it ties into the Get Stack programming is a lot, most of the guys, honestly, I start training, they're looking for, you know, it's, it's definitely not a novice. It's someone who's been experienced with the programming sure. for a little bit. Right. So, and they tend to come to me, Hey, Zach, I'm looking to compete. I want to take this training to the next level. I need an extra eye. Right. So, absolutely. And that's where the value starts being added. And, you know, for me, it's, I think it's awesome if I can get you to compete, but at the end of the day, that's not what we're looking for. We're mm-hmm. just trying to help you advance. Right. So, you know, for me, it starts with breaking down the form and all these things. So I think if it's someone who's making gains to the programming, but you know, maybe needs that extra eye or a little more accountability, accountability. Right? that's yep. where, that's where I come in. So, and it's been, uh, it's, it's been a great process for me and learning still to out, how to add value to that. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I think at the end, end of the day, if you're looking to compete too, like, let's get going. Well, and I think, you know, before we met each other, you were doing the programming when you were like fucking 15 years old. Yeah, 15, right. 16, yeah. And, uh, Trey was talking about that. He started when he was 14 or 15. Yeah. Um, so these guys were a little bit older, but not much. So it's like, everyone's been doing this style for so long. Sure, sure. And then you being in the gym in one of the, as the main and one of the main guys, this for like the last five to what, seven years? Yeah, yeah. That's it's been a long eight, fucking time. Going on eight next, yeah, eight like, years. Like in the spring, next spring will be eight years here. Yeah. So it was eight years then when you did that first show. Yep. And yeah, because you started 20, coming. I'll be 28 next year. Oh, yep. yeah. Damn. Yep. <laughs> that's yeah, I was amazing. 19 turning 20 when I first started coming. Yep. And 20 is when I like won the teen division of the show. So the yeah. teen division. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Because yeah. I, I was like 19 when yeah, I signed yeah, up yeah. and 20 when I competed. So the crazy thing is that when you came to this gym, you were two, older, two years older than AG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. crazy. That is it wild. It really, like, it's like weird to think about, but it doesn't seem like too long ago. Well, but. I'll tell you this, though. This is off topic, but but on topic. It's been a really long time, and you've been the same motherfucker the whole time. Yeah, I've never really changed, man. You I've haven't changed. You've just gotten better, yeah, more successful, better. more fucking yoked. Yeah. And, and built a great business for yourself. So I appreciate that yeah. loyalty yeah, and just, always. like, uh, watching you kind of grow up yeah really, really yeah. at the gym has been awesome yeah. zach yeah and growing up but still you know having fun with everyone so. oh yeah but that's yeah. also part of why um you know to lend like hey this is our guy that you need to be hitting up yep. because we haven't offered one-on-one in forever no i don't have time to do it nor the bandwidth that zach has where he can really so i don't do it because i'm not going to do a good job either like i just know that I want to make sure that somebody's being handled properly and sure. you are doing that. And at the, at that chalk on the boards way deeper than my chalk is right now. Matheny's all over that motherfucker. Yeah, like uh, I need to get spread a little more, but, <laughs> yeah. but you know, I'll add this to you. I think yeah. like, you know, the lucky thing I get, you know, being here with people like Tyler, Trey, you know, everyone being strong in here, you know, we get to bounce ideas off it's each true. other. Someone training alone, following the program, right. You know, they're getting a lot of feedback from the app, but Hey, maybe they do need this other set of <laughs> eyes. Sure. I mean, I, I, you know, I don't have a trainer, but I got a bunch of trainers around me helping yeah. me out every morning. So, you know, it's yeah, you got it's 10 really step. fucking good lifters watching everything right. you're doing. Cause I can come over and say, dude, you got to keep your chest up. Like they don't have that. Yeah, exactly. Especially if you're lifting alone, like in a corporate gym, right? You're yeah. probably the strongest dude already in there. So, well, and I, I, I really enjoyed seeing the guy that was in the gym the other day that's going to do his first meet that was the first time he wrapped yeah, up nick nick, nick and yeah, then nick's, nick's been with me about a year now and then lost. Who, who's the guy that's came here one other time uh, mike mike yeah and mike mike's progress so i've been locking on to some of the guys that yeah, you're doing real. stuff with it's so cool man yeah, it's amazing i'm lucky you know i that's i've had a few guys now that have come from get stacked that mm-hmm. have been with me over a year now online nick Started, he started following Get Stacked, found me in person. He, Nick actually lives out here, drives downtown, downtown. To, train, to train with me. I help him online. So Nick's one of my cool instances where I help him online too, mm-hmm. um, but see him once a week in person because he cool. lives far. So yeah, he's lost 50 pounds, signed up for his first meet. He's competing. He came to me at 250. He's competing in the 198 class Damn, with us. that's awesome. And then I got another <laughs> that's online. That's fucking great, Zach. Yeah, and then I got another <laughs> online client, Tanner from Wisconsin. He's just moved to Tennessee this week. I think he's going to drive up with us and I'm going to try to talk to Josh, see if he can be at least, at least not watch us lift. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it, it's been real cool, man. I mean, I was really, honestly, I, I built a great in-person business to sustain me for a long 
long For time sure. now. And I, I, I was worried getting into the online space, like how can I add value? But the truth is there's so much more value to be added, right? It's, it's right. not about that one hour of the workout. It's every other touch point, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's that check-in, right? I'm here. You know, that's the thing I try to stress to people. It's like, you know, during the workout, I'm here for you, but it's outside of there. Hey, you got questions, diet, nutrition, mm -hmm. like, you know, is this okay? Like, help, let me help you strategize for the weekend even. Right? Yeah, so, accountability too, mm -hmm. bro. That's the biggest yeah. part of this. Think right? about we have accountability as lifters that are at this level because we know the other homies is going to be here. Yeah. You know, if you don't show up for a couple of days, you know you're about to get pinged from me. Listen, you know here, what I mean? here's the truth. We're getting ready for this this meet coming up, right? And especially the last two months. And this is why we do it, G, right? It dials us in because I know, especially the last few days when I haven't when I got up, I know Tyler's going to be here kicking yeah. my ass if I don't. And me and Tyler are going head to head. And I've never, this is by far the strongest I've been. You know, I don't know. I hope that equates out to the platform. Yeah. But where I feel in the gym right now, and it's because I know Tyler and I have been battling. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I'm getting Because he'll be at 220, you'll be at 98. Yeah, I mean, meet. we'll see if I sneak into 81. Yo! I, I, I ain't decided yet. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's but it's, you know, listen, at the end of the day. But you I, need that competition, bro. Yep. That's why when I saw you guys hanging outside the gym a little bit too, I was yeah. happy about that because yeah. that's one thing that I know propelled Westside. Those guys started hanging out a little bit more together, and then they're still competing against each other. So there's a mutual respect, and then everybody respect. just goes yep. like this, right? Dude, I tell it all the time. It ain't happening very often, but I'm coming here to beat all you motherfuckers yeah, yeah. every day. Yeah, I'm getting a little weird. I'm <laughs> but I did, I'm trying to get it back. <laughs> Stella's trying to get her group back. <laughs> so, all right, uh, Danny. All right. <laughs> All right, so uh, people have a little bit of background on you. You've been OG forever. So, yes. like, somebody wants... Certified OG. Certified. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, so, somebody is listening to this, and they want to get rolling. All right, so how, how does that exactly work when you... Uh, as far as, like, you assessing the person, what kind of goals or, and stuff like that, how do you kind sure. of approach that? Sure, yeah. So, we, we obviously start, I, you know, if you want to more interest train with zach.com all my stuff's on there danny and cole actually helped me get that thing set up Hell but, yeah uh you know we'll start with some type of assessment typically i have an onboarding week where it looks like all right you know i, I have some basic movements right you know most guys are coming to me to advance their strength in some degree some iteration of get stacked looking to build muscle too but regardless of the goals we'll have some type of onboarding week we took a look at videos we'll ask you to hey these three five six exercises i need to break down you know ask someone to perform it at 80 percent, right something challenging but not overbearing and i get an idea of maybe where form's breaking down these types of things right mm -hmm. and then we'll set up a call that week and kind of break down where you know we need more help if that's diet nutrition setting that up whether that's more looking at meal planning um you know some gi you taught me that's been so so helpful and it's really back to this accountability part mm -hmm. take a picture every time you sit down to eat and send Dude, it to me that helps that a change ton, the, bro. the power of just having it to be does. like i have to send a picture of this to someone and even if you're well most of the time they're not eating enough right i've that, seen that's been more than the opposite like where they're overeating i'm like yo you can't that ain't enough vegetables. Yeah, here, here, and people don't know till they send it. Yeah, really what happens a lot, you see people under eat, the under eat, and then at night they binge, right? Yes. And this is what happens, and it comes a cyclical thing. It's like, all right, now it's during the day, I have to under eat. They come home from work, they're, you know, stressed, right? So yep. let me binge eat, right? And this, it turns into this thing, right? So just, you know, it's having that extra cycle. touch point, sending me a picture. So, you know, we talk about how, like, we're going to add value, whether it's online, these types of things. And then if they're close to... Right. I do try to introduce, hey, let's come in. Like I have these guys driving from Cole, where mm -hmm. you're from. I'm trying to see if I can help them train online. They're falling and get stacked right now. Mm -hmm. But they come to me just once a month. Yep. Right. And I but run them through the get stacked leg workout because we've been yeah. working on uh, Jeremy and Shane. Good yeah. dudes. But, you know, so if you're close to like, I think there's going to be some value added mm -hmm. to. In well, and if you're about it enough, that's the best way to slide in and jump in with us. It's <laughs> yeah, just yeah, the truth. Talk. Like, yeah, because Zach will be like, yo, this dude's doing good. You care if he rolls with us one yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. you're if he's co-signed by Zach, of course. Yeah. 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 So, so, I mean, that's a good entry point. I mean, you know, because I know Mike has made great progress. Super great progress. He's obviously super respectful of the gym. When he comes, he's going to give everything he fucking got. Yeah. No matter what that is. That's the other thing I think people... I was trying to explain to Ben Knight this morning. He saw Big Mike. Obviously, we call him Big Mike, but he's <laughs> yeah, not yeah. big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he's like, that fucking four band shit he did today, he about, oh, you were here. But he about got fucking bent over. It it was parallel to the ground. It should He should have lost it. But he kept. I, but somehow it stayed on him. And he fucking racked it. And Ben looked at me like, the fuck was that? And I started telling him a little bit about Big Mike and his history and how he'd been in the gym. Since he, but once again, it's about he just laid it it was all on the fucking line. There was like a five on each side. Yeah, like, <laughs> That's what it's about, man. It, it is what it's the about. Way, the way don't matter. It's about the effort. It's right. about the fucking effort, bro. So it's like, you know, that's what I think a lot of people think. They see your fucking 
video where you pull 585 through bands. Like it's not even, and they're like, well, I can't do it. But it's not, it's about the effort, bro. You aren't always that way. No, no. Everyone no. got to start somewhere. Listen, it's a, I've, I've most, I've said this most of the time I've showed up here and had a good day. It's days I haven't felt good. Yeah, and, that's facts. Yeah, it's the truth, right? So it's, you know, I, I'm lucky to, you know, have everyone at the gym and, and just have that accountability, right? Yeah. And, and I, I try not to take that for granted. So that's that's just what we're trying to do here, G, right? With this yeah. one-on-one stuff is like extend that out a yeah, little more, right? Yeah, of course. Well, and having a person that understands all of it to the fullest that was there for the both events. Yeah. I mean, that's I've, been, I've been here the whole time, bro. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So yeah. it's like for 96 of them, bro. Yeah. Almost a hundred here. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. It's, wow. it's, it's wild, but that goes to show the consistency of not only the programming, but me and you as guys who train together, like fucking 96, bro. That's yeah. a long fucking time. <laughs> you know what I mean? So cool. Yeah. I guess like, so whenever you have these people come to you, what's like the top three things that like, like what's the biggest overarching thing that people are missing? Like, is it all accountability? Is it more diet? Like, what are they, what are they missing? Sure. Sure. I think it's people understanding, uh, you know, I guess let's say we're looking at like a strength aspect of it is understanding like how, how programming works and how to approach like certain days and these types of things like intensity. Right. Mm -hmm. And maybe saying, Hey, maybe when to give a little less, take back a little more. I'd say the biggest thing I address on, especially if they're coming in looking for like, I want my squat to go up, my bench to go up, my deadlift to go up. Right. It's, it's addressing, all right, if my form is breaking down here, if I'm slow off the floor, right. Yeah. That's my biggest thing I try to teach, especially with the online stuff. Cause I really do mean this. I like, Hey, I want to give you the tools to take this and do this on your own and fall, get stacked on your yeah. own and have that. Right. So, you know, I try to address like, Hey, looking at like your deadlift, if you're slow off the floor, you probably need to improve your hamstrings a little bit. Right. And it's looking at these little keys and lower abs, yeah, too, lower right? abs. Right. And just, and breaking down the lift a little more for them and helping them understand like programming why, like, okay, the conjugate method. Right. Yeah. I think if people can at least understand like where get stacks coming from and we have this yeah. hyperfetry aspect and why accessories are important and not just hitting our main lifts. That's, yeah. I've done my job. You can, right? you can explain it another level cause you're getting actual personal time with them. Yeah. And, and, and the guys who really care, they want to know. Yeah. And that's going to help them be better too. Yeah, exactly. Cause I, I've learned too, Zach is we can do a million hours of content, but you know how we all figured it out. We went deep on it. We got around guys that really know it. Like I was around guys that really know it. Then you guys got around me. Like that's, Cause you, they're yeah, getting around you, yeah. bro. So they can really fucking know it. Truth, you're not going to get it the first time. Truth no, is, right? bro. you gotta, you gotta be around it a little more to understand it. So. Yeah, no, I think, and then want, and, and then want to get better to the level where some people, and what I've noticed is they're just doing the pump work, bro. They don't really care if their front squat goes up and, I'm, yeah. and that's not for everybody. That's why we started doing the levels mm -hmm. one, two, and three now. Yeah. But yeah. it's like, the other thing is, is understanding the band waves. Because then, and, and every time a guy usually gets bands, they hook them up wrong the first time, you know? So it's like, even some of that type of stuff, I think maybe you can shed some light on that too. Yeah, you can I, help with that. That's like the advanced level, but. Yeah, I think it's, I mean, truth is, is I, when we, when I first started coming here, we, we used bands, I think a little bit, but not, but yeah. not quite to the degree we no. do now. Right. And at least we at did least them more for like dynamic shit. Dynamic, we didn't know any better. And, yeah. and now it's like, there's a huge purpose behind what we're doing for right? sure with the band ways, the front squats and these things. And I think understanding why I'm starting at this point and the point I'm trying to get to is important, right? Yep. Like, you know, maybe on Tuesday, the day after, you know, that understand, here's a perfect example, why having a three count down in a three and a hole is important on your deadlift max effort day, right? You don't yeah. want to be maxing out necessarily, right? The, you don't want to be going crazy. It's ever. the conjugate yeah. method, right? Yeah. It's like you're maxing out to that three count down, three count in the hole. Yeah. Right? So like you can still have some gas, gas left. left, right? <laughs> well, and even just leaving one in the tank on that day, yeah, which sure, everyone sure. usually does, but that's, like a nuance to being here yeah right is that the right word mm -hmm. yeah yeah i'm getting fucking sounding <laughs> smart <laughs> <laughs> i am so educated daniel so educated yeah uh your, your turn danny my turn <laughs> uh, i'm just thinking about like somebody that's like kind of teetering on the fence like what is uh what's going to push them over to train with you sure or at least I, mean, follow up? I mean if you want to get stronger you know, fucking train with me. Let's go first of all. But, uh, you know, I think here's the truth for me. I, I know when I'm not committed to like a competition or, or something like that, my, my, my adherence goes down. That's for sure. Right. And if you're someone that's serious about this, you're already on the app, right. You know, even if let's go for a month, two months, three months, right. Like I yeah, I'm just turn you, it up a little bit. I just told you like a few, few minutes ago, like I'm going to give you the tools here to understand this long term on your own. Right. So mm -hmm. if you need a little kick in the ass a little bit, and I've had a lot, of, I have a guy, Sam, who followed Get Stacked for so long and he was just trying to pull, 
pull through over 300, you know, and just get his numbers up. We, we trained for three months, right? He went on his own. He just checked in with me yesterday. He's up. His abs are looking at, he posted this picture of him. The beach dude looks great. Right. And he don't, don't need me one more. And he's taking that straight. He just to, needed that one more notch. Yeah, that man. Exactly. Yeah. And listen, some guys stick around a little longer because that, that accountability helps them, mm -hmm. but every, everyone's a little different. Right. And I think, you know, if, if you haven't tried to coach, Try at least once, a good coach too, right? Yeah. And someone who's gonna, like, we're gonna look at get stack and we're gonna base a lot of the programming off of that, but specifically to your needs, like what's breaking down here in, in these types of things, right? And that's the benefit we get from the programming in here, right? A lot yeah. of it is addressed towards when we're prepping for meets and sure. these types of things. So let's just take get stacked and make it more specific to you. For sure, yeah. the right? tailor-made solution. Well, yeah. because really I'm programming for the masses but I don't know if this guy's hamstrings are weak over that guy's, yeah. right? So that's the thing like that's where Zach value. can pick it up as uh -huh. soon as he sees yeah. the video. Yeah, listen, I think if you're someone, you know, who's not, who's been on Get Stacked for a while now, let's say that. If you're someone who's been competitive with Get Stacked, you feel like numbers are growing up still and maybe you're stalling a little bit, like let's jump on with the trainer. Maybe, maybe you need to be in Get Stacked a little longer. I don't know what that timeline is for you, mm -hmm. but you know, I think if you're like, hey, you know what, I'm stalling here a little bit or not understanding where, I need to be focusing more of my GPP on, yeah, let's yeah, call yeah. it. I'm here. Fuck sure. with it. Yeah, it's fucking huge. good. Yeah. This guy's smart, man. Yeah, smart. man. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I'm just here Fuck to solve, solve problems, <laughs> I love it. Nuggets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I just, this is just me in my head. I'm thinking, I've been on camera with Zach a bunch off and on over the years and just like his evolution of how many guys he's trained, how many competitions he's done now, how he knows his shit. Like, it's just, it's been awesome to yeah. see, bro. Like, it's fucking... Yeah. It's fucking killer. Cole, you got anything else? No, I'm good. You good. The, I think, so what I want to say is that the people that are on the fence mm -hmm. that think they do need that next level of accountability, there is no way that even if you do a month that you're going to get worse. No, this is <laughs> You know what I mean? Like that, Listen, I always try to like break it down like, okay, if you're like, well, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. This dude has been in the entire time. <clears throat> He's got a bunch of chalk on the board. He's got multiple fucking bodybuilding accolades. He'd been in the gym with me for a decade, basically. It's like there's no way that he's not going to pick up on looking at your squat, bench, or deadlift or not going to be able to give you more accountability because he lives the life at such a high level that, that what will happen is you'll be on for multiple months because you're going <laughs> to like it so much. Yeah. But that can be the next notch that you need. Yeah, and I, I mean, don't know how you could get worse. There's great lifters, great coaches, but like, I feel like it's rare to have kind of I agree both that. together. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. that you can like pick out those weaknesses and stuff that that's where it's huge. Yeah. And you know, I think at the end of the day, it, you, you probably joining get stacked to take your training to another level. Yeah. Right. Like, and if you're ready to step it up a little more and just get a little more help, right. I'm here for you. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, Zach, what's your email? Yeah. It's a uh, train with Zach 12. Yeah at gmail.com or just go to trainingwithzack.com okay. that's the best that's way that's the best to get, way to get a hold of yeah, it yeah all my stuff's on there fuck yeah this will be perfect for site emails the whole nine everything fuck yeah all right it's Corey g small arms danny <laughs> the graphic gangster <laughs> train with zach we out <laughs>